Hi everyone, my name is Anoushka Kuliru. I am a 10th grader at James Logan High School, um, and I am a part of the Eternity Band and the Audacity Band and the Audacity Academy Workshop. Um, I play water polo and I swim at Logan, and I'm also looking to go into the field of neuroscience in college. So today I will be teaching you how to make a water dia, as you can see here. So a dia is basically something that we use during the volley as a way to kind of um, make ourselves more spiritual. We use it to make a pathway for God to see our house during the volley and welcome him into our house. So this is just a type of dia. There are many types of dias um, used in the volley. So this is a little bit science related, so I will be explaining how exactly it works as we go through it. Um, so you will need a glass of water. You wanna make sure that your glass is clear so that you can see all the stuff that's happening. And the water should be filled almost to the top, but not exactly up to the top because you need some oil for another layer. You need some turmeric oil. And for the oil, we're gonna take a wick, we're gonna fold it, we're gonna fold it, and then we're just gonna dip it in the oil and let it soak in there for some time. And then we're also gonna need some parchment paper and a safety pin. And if you want, you can use some um, sequins, so some glitter. So we're going to start now. So the first step is to add your turmeric to the water. And this will just give some color to your dia. You don't always have to use this, but it makes it look very pretty. As you can see, it turns a bright yellow. And I just used a spoon to mix it. I'm going to add some oil to the top of the water. And this oil should float right on top because oil is lighter than water. That's so it creates a second layer right on top of the water. And you want to bring it all the way up just about to the top. It's a little more. And it creates a little bit of a second layer. It's a little bit smaller than that one, but that's okay as long as it's there. Okay. So from there, we're going to take our parchment paper. Cut it into a little bit of a rectangle. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be a thing. It just has to be a rectangle. And you're gonna to wanna to poke a hole right through it. So, you wanna make sure that you do this on the floor. And then once you have a hole, you're gonna to wanna to rip right through it to create like a slit so that your, um, your wick can go right through it. So I think you can see that. From there, I'm going to, sorry, give me a second. I'm gonna take the wick that was in the oil. It's a little bit oily, so I'm gonna dry it off on the napkin that I have on the side. And then I'm just gonna slip that right through the hole I made in the parchment. Okay, and you want to make sure that it's not too, like, long. There should be very little at the bottom so that it doesn't penetrate through the oil layer and go into the water layer, which will cause it to bend over. Okay, and then after we're done with that, we're going to just place it right on top of the water, top of the oil, and it should stay afloat. And then we're just going to put some um, sequins right on top. So once you light it up, your final result should be this. And then if you look overhead, you're going to see all the sequins on top. Okay? So that is it for today. Um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.